Before you start UV mapping process, make sure your geometry is clean and all the vertexes are close. First go to modifier list and apply UV mapping clear modifier. This will clear original UV map. Then right click over modifier to collapse it. And now you can apply unwrap UV modifier. Next cut new map into manageable pieces. Make those cuts in places where they create natural transition. For example, between pants and the belt or belt and t-shirt. Also study how clothes are made and where seams are created by seamstress. Notice that they place it in less visible areas, between the legs, under the arms. So study your model before you start cutting. Try different options. Don't give up. Just practice over and over again. Please remember that there are third-party UV mapping programs and scripts that you can use as well. But you need to pay for them and they will not solve all your problems. It's all about quality of your mesh. So start planning ahead of time when you design and model your character. As you cutting your map, sometimes you make mistakes and you create sims in areas that they do not belong. You can remove them by clicking Edit Tool plus Alt and select seam that you want to remove. So keep cutting and adjusting your cuts as you go. This process may take a long time, but it is very important because quality of your map and texture depends on it. Take your time and remember that with each model this process becomes easier and easier. There are some body parts that may take longer, such as hands and fingers. Here you may spend more time deciding where to make proper cut and where to hide seams. If this video is too fast for you, and if you like to take closer look on model from tutorial and study it, please go to my blog and download zip files. After you finish cutting, under UV map modifier, select Polygon and click one of the cluster that you just created. To select whole cluster, click Expand Polygon Selection to Seams. Next, in Projection Rollout, click Planner Map and in Align Option Group, choose Best Projection for your model. After that, click Quick Help and in UV Editor, you can see your Unwrap map. Repeat process for the other clusters as well and please remember that final result depends on quality of your mesh and cut that you made in first place.
When you complete unwrapping clusters, go to Edit UV window and click two buttons, Rescale Elements and Pack Custom option. This will rescale and arrange UV clusters in proper manner. Before exporting UVs to image, organize clusters to your liking. This will make painting process easier, since you will know which cluster represents specific body part. When you finish organizing UV cluster, render and save your map. Choose size and image format to your liking. If you like to preview and check your UV map on character, apply checker pattern from pull-down menu in Edit UVs dialog. Thank you.